Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Alana, and watching the House of the Dragon episode four, season two. It's going to be so good. I just know it is because, hello, House of the Dragon is always good. Um, I am going to be zeroed in. Hopefully, to try to catch a lot of these details because I feel like sometimes it takes me another go round to catch certain things. Um, last episode, we had the the big war between those two families that have been in a feud with each other for for like forever to the point to where they don't even know why they are bickering or going at each other's necks anymore. Period, which was something that Rainis had been saying to Rhaenyra as to why they should stop. Um, or at least try to stop this war that's brewing that we already know that's coming. Rhaenyra tried, didn't work. Alicent was hit with the truth. She was wrong, but instead of her being like, oh yeah, you're right, and I fucked up, she said it's too late. Which it technically is, so can I get mad at her for saying it's too late? No. The hand has been dealt and it is what it is at this point. She has no power into stopping it. Even though she was the one that kind of like put the fire onto it, in my opinion, other people may say no. But to me, I feel as if she is kind of the one that throws stones, but then she doesn't want the backlash of it all to, to then like be pointed back at her. We've seen this a couple times um, with the last season when it came to her. It's like you could tell she is angry on the inside when it comes to Rhaenyra. She is trying to act like she's Miss Goody Two Shoes, and yet we see her do certain things that, you know, like, isn't Goody Two Shoe ish. You know what I'm saying? So it's like she, she, she kind of throws stones and hides her hands, and then when things start to, to, you know, get a little crazy, she then wants to say she had no part, that's not what her intentions were, but. In reality, Allison is a very smart woman. She knows what she's doing. Even if she says she doesn't want it to happen, she knows She knows what she's doing. Nobody can tell me that she doesn't. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that went, oh, she also, didn't her daughter, her daughter did say she forgave her. We also had Damon and Heron Hall. We already know what Heron Hall is, y'all. This is the place where, was it Jace? Yeah, and Luke's father, Mr. Strong, mm -hmm, died, okay, because of Laris' ass. So this, this Heron Hall's already been known to be just, like, cursed. And we see there, 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 oh, that there is a witch here, okay? She's, and she says that this is the place where Damon is going to die. Oh my gosh, that's crazy, right? I want to know exactly, is that going to be true? Is she a seer of some sort? Like... Who is this woman? Why is she here? And we already know that this place has a connection to, um, you know, the red tree and how, it, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So it's like, I just know this next episode is going to be so amazing and I can't wait to watch it. So yeah, I'm going to zip it. And on that note, let's just go ahead and jump right on in. Let's go. Ominous music playing. Oh, red hair and haul. No, we're back. King's Landing? What is he hearing? <gasps> he cut off her head! If the head is not talking, that head ain't talking, is it? That speaks kind of volumes. There's been a raven. There's been a raven. Where's the blood come from? As I said, there's been a raven. What the hell? It's a Christian's army. It's now tripled in strength. Mmm. Given the details. Destination. He's gonna have to use his dragon. Let's they don't have scorpions. Lord Paramount. Ah, he said he wanted to speak to him, yeah? His grace, the king, consort, Damon Targaryen. Which is an honor, your grace. Umbu. So close. Not close. <laughs> Sadly, he remains incapacitated. So he's about to die soon. Well, my time is short and I have need of an army. Perhaps you might place a feather pillow over his head and speed along your inheritance. Is he asking him to kill him? Are you here to speak with your grandsire's voice? The house Tully and the Woman are in. 
back to the Thalwood. Then you have no use for me. House Tully is a fish with no head. Yep. Summon the Blackbirds here. I require men of action to lead my host of rivermen. Holy moly. Damon legit just asked his little boy to kill his granddaddy. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's Damon for you. But gosh, that's heartless. And I like this guy here. And you are Alan. Yes, he is. Oh, she, oh, she going to say thank you for saving her husband? But I was not told his savior was so comely. Comely? Your mother must have been very beautiful. Why, why is she reaching out to him like that? Does she see something in him? Does she know something? Who is this guy exactly? Rainice, you have good eyes, girl. Tell me. Uh oh. Somebody in trouble. Did he have bastard kids, maybe? No. Who is he? He saved his lord's life. He should be raised up and honored, not hidden beneath the tides. This is why you came. Who is he? I came to tell you that Vela has called me to Dragonstone. Black Pouch is going to dine on her and Jace for supper. May grow restless in Rhaenyra's absence. Oh, Rhaenyra. Y'all over here just keep breaking all of Viserys' shit. Why is the freaking... As requested. What the hell is that? I brewed it myself. Is this what I think it is? Is this what I think it is? Remember in season one where Viserys had a little concoction sent to, um, was it sent to Rhaenyra? And so anything that was going on inside there wasn't going to be brewing up inside there. Is she requesting the same thing or no? Because, you know, she has been unfaithful. If she were to get pregnant by hmm, Sir Chris and Cole, then, of course, her spot would be blown up, right? But the same thing that she was pissed off about with Rhaenyra, she's... Do, uh, this is why I get so mad at Allison. But it's like, I... Ugh, I just want to, like, girl. Girl. you are, She was not a true friend to Rhaenyra. Let's just be real. She was not a true friend to Rhaenyra. I will see it delivered to Stephen. See it delivered? To your belly? The tea is known. He knows. He ain't dumb. You've ever been a practical man. Oh, heavens. Honorable servant to the crown. Do you believe Viserys wanted Aegon to succeed him? Oh, this is a guilt moment. I could not know. That's a no. If it ain't a yes, that's a no. He knows. He never raised the matter because he said what he wanted. Do not try to make yourself feel as though you were in the right when you were wrong, sweetheart. She takes opportunities and tries to seize upon them, acting as if she's Miss Goody Two Shoes. Go on and drink it, Allison. She's pregnant, ain't it? Look at her. Look at her. It disagrees with the gut. I hope you shit all your life away. You see how things kind of go full circle. Sir Kristen Cole's host has taken to exploiting the tree topper. You should have burned them when uh, you were gone. Perhaps you can, Sir Alfred, when you next light them on your dragon. Oh! Snap. The ravens were sent to Harrenhal, seeking news of Damon's progress with the River Lords. None have as yet returned. He has no news. We could perhaps act if only we had a host of our own or someone here to lead us. Rhaenyra. This council is rudderless. I'm doing my best to steer it, Sir Alfred. Why should your voice be any louder than ours, Princess? Princess, maybe? But they are gone. What has come of this council? <gasps> Lord Corliss came. We do not know the Queen's doings, but we must trust that she seeks the same as each of us at this table. Why are you looking like that? An end to this conflict. Holy moly. You can earn back your honor by raising his banner and fighting in his name against the whore of dragonstone the whore of dragonstone this man called her whore you're a whore <laughs> what do you mean oh my gosh he is going around calling this girl a whore obviously he refused you are not fit for the white cloak he's not 
yours will come in kind. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait till he dies. What does it say? What does it say? I hate not knowing. He's not going there. Damon, of all people, has taken Harrenhal. I give you a job, and now you just sit there. Ooh, Laris. Well, that castle is more crippled than I am, Your Grace. <laughs> so there's no point in taking it? As I happily control all this gold. I will not be made to look a fool in front of my allies and enemies. Harrenhal must wait. Mm -hmm. Sir Kristen is marching on Rook's Rest. I gave no such command. The castle is small. Half the gold smashes it. And that dragonstone effectively cut off my land. Eamon is making moves without the king's approval. No. Have him turn about. I want Harrenhal back. Cole is already preparing to return. Eamon is making moves. He sent word to me. But, but not to you, huh, king? Plotting. This is why, y'all, this is why he turns out to be suspicious of everybody. He... <laughs> Look at him. It's starting early. It's starting early. Remember how we were told how, you know, the Mad King, he couldn't trust anybody. I think he um, called one of the Starks to the castle and then he burned them alive because he thought something was going on there. Like, the dude is crazy. If, the, if this is the same guy, which I believe this is who we're referring to, the Mad King here, yeah? He, he starts to be feeling like everybody's trying to get him. And it starts here with his own brother. <laughs> Poor soul. Do they speak um, Valerian? Mm, he's punking your ass. Look at Gaston, Bibi Luce. Segi Tarn, Billy Vasni. Harrenhal is a useful morass. If we keep Damon well occupied while we strengthen our host. He has no control. And you agree, my king. Aegon is not having much pull in his own council, and it is showing so freaking brightly. Come. Mm. Her gut is messed up. With what I've looking on you, Your Grace, with your absence from the small council, I feared something was amiss. Yeah. Don't venture into the land of quiet last night, Sokka. Too far, I fear. He ain't, look, you left your evidence right there. Now you're a little liar. Mm. Mm. Indulgence. He is very observant. I know, he needs to die. You must worry for him. Your sworn sword. Yeah. He has something up here going. You've not seen yourself, have I? No, I've barely had the hours to grieve one tragedy before suffering the next. I regret yes. If I had not been a wife now. That's reasonable. I know you shared your lord husband's love. Oh, damn. For the histories. Oh, I like, like love period. The voices of history guided to Cesarius from the east, such as his from Olympia may reach so far. Do you think that is why he changed his mind? He didn't change his mind. Do you not doubt his intention? Yes, she does. The significance of Viserys' intentions lies with him. Yes, I do. Did he come here just so she can say that and for her to just close close that chapter? The foots are back. What's the foot? The footsteps are back. Well, he's seeing things. Is that Eamon? Or is that him? He walks like Eamon. Am I lying? Huh? Bro. Damon and Eamon mesh what? It's a touch late to be stalking about a strange castle putting its people to the sword. I'm called Alice. Rivers. Rivers? Bastard. You just said that he's about to die. I inherited the duties after the last one fled in the night. Fled? Why? To 
that much death will burn. It's creepy there. It can be from this room. What would you know, Mice? I mean, Karen Hall has been cursed since its first storm was laid. Ew, I mean, then her boo. It said there were whispers from Toby Heard somebody. The midwife's tale. No, you heard him. The bed you sleep in was made from such a heart, too. You are a strange kind of woman. <laughs> from the woman's home, from a barn owl. Barn owl? So you've come here after quarreling with your wife. She knows. Do you now plan to make your own claim? Seems a bit crazy that her legitimacy is contested as you stand here. You better not drink that, Damon. Drink this. I will do no such thing. You need your sleep if you're to win this close to your side. He's gonna trust her? Man, I just saw this girl squeeze something in her hand. He drank it. Who are you? Yo, this man is tripping. Why are we giving to understand that you wanted an army? Yes. Who doesn't these days? I once vied for Queen Rhaenyra's hand. Before she went to Rhaenyra. She probably should have married you then. Elena? These spirits are fucking with him. Good grace. <laughs> Yo, whenever she came in, got this man tweaking. You hear me? Resources are certainly growing no more plentiful in the face of the blockade. The demand in the blacksmith's armor is sometimes so quick that he's only grown a pace with the Christian's army. Oh my gosh. Kingmaker, they're calling him. Kingmaker. They're making him a king. He's getting pissed. You all bore me. <laughs> I guess her gut's better. Oh. Where are your father's books? I ordered them removed. Where do they put them? I removed them. I didn't burn them. What is it? They don't care what I think. They don't. Oh, is she still recovering? Their campaign without seeking my aid or even my thoughts. What thoughts would you have? Oh! Do you think simply wearing the crown imbues you with wisdom? Yeah, that's hard. Yo, mama telling you, you stupid. Low key. It's my hope that once enthroned, you would honor the burden of your new duties with silence in the hope that you might be half the king your father was. Ha! Tread carefully. Or what? Damn! You should humbly be seeking our opinions in council. Y'all are pushing this man. No idea of the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. Oh, she is feeling the pressure to put you on that throne. What would you have me do, mother? Do simply what is needed of you. I thought you'd say bring Otto back. Nothing. Nothing? Do nothing? She said you're good for nothing. No, I'll be darned. If you're really enjoying this reaction and want to see the full uncut version, please join me over on Patreon. There you'll have access to all the shows you see here on YouTube and the Patreon exclusives. And don't forget before you leave to comment, like, and subscribe. Why are they following the trees? I'm so sick of Kristen. I don't want to see him anymore. I so the last time... The next time I want to see Kristen is him dying. We shall move now and strike by day. They will not expect it. They will not expect it because it is fucking madness. Dragonstone and their dragons are just across the bay. Are you afraid, sir? Worse. I'm rational. He's saying you irrational. What if Allison's brother ends up dying? I wonder will she be okay with Sir Kristen Cole then? Over near his back. Where? To support the war that your vassals have been fighting in your absence. Ooh, tell her. Many darkling men declared for Aegon. Those who refused were put to the sword. What of my father? He kept He's dead. Him. You vanished without so much as a word. I went to King's Landing. To what possible end? To meet Queen Alicent and sue for peace. I needed to know that there was no other path. And there's no other path. Cole's victories have only emboldened him. He marched Yes. Yes. He's got a small coastal fleet. Messiah. He was a member of this council. We need to send a dragon. No. Will she go? I will go. My queen. I figured she would do that. You die 
All is lost. You must send me, Your Grace. Rainis? I will meet Cole. No! No! No, no, no! I have a bad feeling. Every no. I love Rainis. I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling. Aegon, Aegon's still sitting there. Oh, he's drinking. Go figure. Does he not like being called useless? Allison, you told his ass not to do nothing. Now look at him. Was that supposed to be Valerian's head? Whose head is that? I can't remember. Something. I should have told you when you first became heir to the throne. What? Song of Ice and Fire? And it has passed from king to heir. Since Egon the Conqueror's time. He's about to freaking fly his damn dragon drunk. The Targaryen, who sits the Iron Throne, they are a protector. He will die more tardily than the other. Where is Aemon in all this? We have Aegon coming. Daemon is being haunted. Oh, I'm not feeling good. My father believed that I alone was meant to be this protector. You are heir. The horrors I have just used cannot be for a crown alone. What Jaehaerys have told him. What is Aegon what doing? You, he called it the Song of Ice and Fire. Many will die. That is so scary. This is how they fought. Oh, they asses ran now. Make the signal. What's in? Amen's here. Amen's gonna bring Vagar. Amy. How did he get this big ass dragon here undetected? Wait. Wait till what? Oh, Aegon. That's why he said to wait. Okay. Whose dragon is that? Aegon. This was your secret plot card. Your king has joined you, for the seven have blessed and shielded this host with divine purpose. Advance! I wouldn't advance shit. Where are you, Raymond? Rainies. Bro, what the what? I don't know who I'm, like, I'm holding my freaking breath. She could have actually killed him. Another one. Vagar's coming now. Vagar's coming. Ah! Yo, I'm so freaking sick. She's about to die. My ass, I'm in like, it's, I'm done. I'm done. I surrender. I fucking surrender. Is she gonna hold on to him? You got it. Your grace. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember, but I'm I'm thinking I remember this, right? So way back, I believe it was I don't, I can't remember which, but I know there was an episode where we saw like a glimpse of like the Mad King or whatever, and he had like this little mask on his face, or am I tripping? Um, I just feel like his face will get burned up. So is he gonna have to wear like a mask or some shit? Yeah. And it's because of Eamon. This is why his ass is on pins and needles, everybody. Because all his folks that he thought was gonna have his back don't have his fucking back. But you know what? Aegon cannot be mad at nobody but himself. 
because he was so fucked up to um Eamon when he when they were smaller he was so mean to him I legit thought Rainice was about to get murderized not to say she's still not going to but if I was Rainice right now I would take this opportunity to get the freaking hell out of town like go I will go back Get out of here. You know what I mean? I would not stay there. Now, Chris and Cole, you little dumbass mother sucker. You, I hope, I hope you feel like a jackass. I hope you do. I cannot stand him. He's so fucking annoying. Oh, okay, sorry, y'all. I got like, oh my gosh, oh my, that was a freaking crazy moment. I can't believe Amond burnt him. Get out of there, Rainice. Get the hell out of Dodge. No! No! Rainy's about to die. Maylee's and Rainy's. She knows she's finna die. I would have gotten out of there. I would not, I would have not have stayed. Why stay? Now, Rhaenyra, Vagar's gonna kill her dragon. Look how big Vagar is. Isn't he one of the oldest ones? Oof. I guess she said she's gonna put up a fight. Holy moly. Hmm. Oh fucking well. Who cares? Sucker. <laughs> I don't like him. Holy moly. Will Vagar be able to fly? Or at all? Man, Vagar did not care about that. He smushed them! They're connected. You watch him come from over here and just chop her ass. <sighs> Dire Dragon Rider's death. I'm so fucking pissed. It's like I knew it was coming, but it's like you don't want it to happen. Where's Sir Gwaine? How is he alive? I hate him. Now they're down a freaking dragon. And Rhaenyra just lost Rhaenys, who is probably one of the smartest people. Now Lord Corlys, what? Oh my god. I'm so irritated. His mother told him to not do nothing and his ass did something. Now they gotta go find his ass. Do you guys think Sunfire's down? Well, I mean, his belly was cut open, so I guess they're both down a dragon. I'm so pissed. I love Rainice. Y'all know Rainice is like my girl. Was he about to kill him? The dagger. Viserys' dagger. The dagger. He's alive. Sunfire's about to die. There's no way. All right, you guys, what a freaking episode. I am in my feelings so bad. It's like I knew it was happening, but it's like, you know, you hold on to that little bit of optimism and hoping that Rainice is just going to live and get up out of there. Cause to me, it's like after she take, like, took down Aegon's dragon, I wish she would have left. I don't, I, I do not like the fact that she went back. I feel like, Taking down Aegon's dragon was enough. I'm sorry for those who are at Rook's rest or whatever. But oh mother freaking well. If I die, you're gonna die anyways. So let me take my dragon and leave. I loved Rainy. She was the one that had the most vision, like a broader vision of things to me to help Rhaenyra out. And now that she's gone, it's like Rhaenyra is really gonna have to 
lock in on her own and do what she thinks is best. But I am so heartbroken. Rhaenys' dragon was what our the only dragon in our our well no, probably um what's the faces to Cor Lord Corliss's. But she she had combat experience. And this sucks so freaking bad. It sucks so freaking bad. I know. Oh my gosh. And the thing is you can see it in her face and her spirit. Her actress did a really great job at portraying the emotion. It's like she knew after she saw two dragons show up, she already accepted, like, all right. Especially Vagar. She already knew what it was going to be. She already knew what it was going to be. She knew this was the end. She locked in, and she probably had a, a communication with her dragon and was like, Melise, let's go out together. Let's do what we could do, and then from here, we'll just go. We'll, we'll, we end together. We fight together. We die together. You know what I'm saying? Like... I hate it. I hate it. I cannot wait to rewatch this episode, though. But I hate it. I fucking hate it. Like, I don't know how many times I can say it. I hate it. I mean, it's a good thing Rhaenyra didn't come, because if she did come, then she probably would have just been murderized. Easy. But I can't wait to see what... What's her name? Allison is going to say when she finds out Aegon left after she told his ass not to do anything, and now look at him now. On the ground, with Sunfire, burnt. Burnt, burnt fuck up. Are they going to be able to move him? How long is he going to be in recuperation? Kristen Cole has dropped down to his knees like, oh my gosh, mother sucker, shut up. I don't like him. I wanted him to die. I wish he was the one in that freaking armor and was turned into dust. I do not like him. Why is he still alive? Why is he still here? Ugh. Throw him in the bin. Man, this would have been a perfect time for Damon to come in and help Rainies. I wonder what he's going to feel. Like, how is he going to think of things once he finds out? Because isn't, um, Harold Hall, right? Or is it Dragonstone? Hmm. No, he went the op opposite direction of Harold Hall. I think Sir Gwen said Dragonstone was a hop across the river. Well, the water, right? Oh, anyways, the news is going to be taken very good. Shit. War is began, and Rainey's poor soul, who wanted everything to end in peace, was our first casualty. Well, not our first casualty. I will say Luke was our first casualty. But our big casualty that's really going to put a punch in our guts is this one. I, I, I'm telling you. I am, I'm heartbroken. R.I.P. Rainies, you are forever loved by me at least. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with me, and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.